Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to create a simple scenario, but most will be focusing on a coloring with the clouds, creating almost like aquarelle or pastel colors with our image with our clouds atmosphere. So right here it's what we will have it on the end from the view. And we'll also take a little bit in the Photoshop to create this little bit extra depth and coloring to our terrain as well, still cloud our kind of uh, main subject of this it's a uh, cloudscape kind of create all this depth with the colors playing with the shadows so let's go ahead and start working in a view on our application on our project so as usual we'll begin by creating um, simple terrain but because the atmosphere and clouds is main here or lighting in this scenery so we won't spend as much time, but we want to give it some dimensions to our settings. So for this one, we'll go create a simple terrain. And we'll just take this terrain um, and sizes to, let's go about 100 meters by 100 meters. Okay. And actually on 100 meters, you know what, let's go to shrink even more down. So maybe about 100 by 50 meters. Notice how tall it is. We'll just go and shrink down. So this will be kind of one terrain. And we'll hold down Alt or Option key. Left click as you're holding key. And drag so it will duplicate once. And same things duplicated three times. We can take one left or right slightly. And on this one we'll just reduce a little bit down okay so let's look and right here we have our simple setup we'll take main camera bring slightly up and point a bit more forward up. so like this this is just very simple setup again um we probably you know what let's go stretch them more like this so they will cover maybe even stretch more kind of like almost strips going between them okay so right here is our basic terrain let's just add a couple of things to this terrain and one thing i want to switch it is edit and we'll go ahead add grass and we also add new layer let's go convert this to ecosystem and as add plants to our ecosystem and we're going with the trees and as a trees we'll just add smaller elder let's go to add another plant different color more now we want to add probably something maybe a bit reddish just modify a little bit on the colors I don't think with the lighting we're going, we'll see them as much, but just different density on the leaves will give it a good effect. So we'll go right there, add more, probably this lime tree. Plant, let's add some dry plant as well. Okay, and a dry plant, maybe so just only 5%, I don't want too much we can go click populate preview you can see kind of populating okay so we'll go to um density let's increase density and take scaling down we'll populate around that way okay at this point i want to click okay and it's way up uh, some kind of funny looking right there Going down, we'll look on those plants. But overall, I'm looking for this line. So I'm not maybe right there. Okay, let's go up. All what I needed is just this kind of line. Again, it's kind of funny what's going on there with the ecosystem population. Mostly with our plants, so with this one. So let's remove it for now. Click Populate. Yeah, something was funny with that red, and we'll go just select 
maybe different ones. Probably pivot point said something wrong on that plant. Yep, right here you can see kind of pretty interesting pivot point on this. Okay, so let's remove for now. That should do anyway. Okay, we'll go click OK. This is our basic. We'll go right click and copy this material. Let's go back to our terrains. We'll go to terrain 2, paste material, and we'll populate ecosystem now. Okay, let's go take our next paste material and populate. So I'm just looking, it kind of does not necessarily look how I want it, so I will spread them a little bit more out. Okay, we'll take our main camera, bring still a little bit even higher, go tilt it. Okay, on this terrain, now we need to do, we need to bring this up, maybe about right around here, but again, we'll go to ecosystem and we'll click populate. Okay, let's go click OK. It will bring, should bring us a little bit more plant right here. We can actually even elevate. It's so all that we need. It's on the back. Okay, let's go take this one. Same thing. So I'll just go increase up. And we don't need this weird look. So we'll click populate again. And let's say populate with other plants. And we'll go bring up. And move maybe around there. Okay, you notice right here we have a little bit openings. Let's to cover those openings. We'll stretch those two. Edit material. Repopulate. Almost every time when we stretch, we need to repopulate. Um, some openings I can see right here happen. We can easy fix them by selecting ground and change material to grass. Those will kind of will blend in. So next, what we want to do? Let's go click on render, and I want preview little render right here. Actually, it's come up too much. Maybe this visible, so may need it to create or extend something more in this area to cover th this segment. So we'll see in a second when it's finished. Yeah, right here I can see it. So it's raised too much. We need to put it some small patch in this area. So let's do this. Okay, I'm going to cancel this render. Okay, and it's right around this area. So we'll go to... Okay, let's go click terrain hold down alt or option we'll just move copy yeah, so let's bring it maybe around here just to extend yeah I think like this yeah let's go to extend around there okay um so let's go to render before we go start work on atmosphere to preview. Okay, so render completed and let's look like good set of the forest. So uh, let's go continue work on atmosphere in next tutorial.